Here are some key reasons why it's often best to own your own home when it comes to retirement in Australia. Hi there, I'm Jared Brown, Australian expat, financial planner, working with Australians right here in Singapore, planning for their retirement and making sure their money is working for them. In today's video, I want to share with you some key reasons why it often makes most sense to own your own home, that is the property you're going to live in, back in Australia in your retirement. Number one is it grows tax-free. Your primary residence in Australia grows without a capital gains tax bill, so in the event that you sold it later on, there wouldn't be a capital gains tax bill to pay. That is, of course, providing you are treating that property as your main residence for tax purposes. Number two, obviously with the benefit in Australia of there not being any inheritance or estate tax, is that property can also be passed to beneficiaries, again, without a capital gains tax bill. They may decide to sell that property within the first couple of years, split the proceeds if there are multiple beneficiaries, you might have two or three children, and again, there is no tax bill payable. You might decide to wrap that property into a trust or something differently altogether, but again, it avoids that tax issue with an expensive capital gains tax bill. Number three, it avoids the stress, the cost of renting. We've all seen the headlines lately, we know how tough the rental market is, Great news if you're a landlord, terrible news if you're moving back to Australia and trying to rent, particularly in the main cities. But obviously owning your own home avoids that problem of facing that rental situation. The next key reason is it avoids the, all of those pesky inspections. The landlord wants to change something, you put a nail into a wall and the landlord has a kicks up a big fuss about it. Whatever it might be, when you are the tenant, obviously your rights are very different to being the owner of that property. So naturally those stresses are removed by owning your own home. The next key reason that it makes an awful lot of sense to own your own home is it allows for debt recycling. Now we're getting into the weeds a little bit here, but let's say that you have a, a $2 million home, you have a million dollar mortgage and a million dollars in the offset. So net net, you don't really owe any money because you've got that million dollars sitting in the offset, which is offsetting the million dollar loan. Now, the beauty of the Australian tax framework is you could take a portion of that million dollars, <throat> you could invest that in a portfolio of fully franked dividend paying shares, generating a taxable income, claim the interest on that money because you're using it to produce assessable income, and of course, get the franking credits on top of those dividends to boost your yield. Again, we're not gonna go right into the actual numbers and how this improves things and how it looks in this video, I will certainly release another one on that topic in more detail, but owning your own home allows you to utilize that debt potentially for tax efficient investing. And the final reason that it often makes the most sense to own your own home in retirement is the home equity access schemes. Now, what this often is, is if you're retired, you're living in your own home, uh, you're not on government pension, or even if you are, often you can tap into the equity in your home to provide obviously living costs or whatever it may be. Now, a lot of these schemes allow you to tap into the equity, effectively creating a loan, and the repayments just effectively build up that loan balance over time. And eventually, when you pass, when there's an estate, that loan balance would be deducted from the value of the home. Now, a lot of those schemes have a guarantee of not going into negative equity, which means that if your home is worth a million, you're not gonna find that that equity access goes up to 1.5 or 2 million and your beneficiaries are faced with a bill. So there are many benefits when it comes to owning your own home in retirement. It's not to say it's the one size fits all and the only approach, but certainly an important one for anyone planning to retire in Australia. Consider where you're going to live and consider what, strat uh, what strategy is right for you.